This country is the least densely populated country in the world. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Mongolia, the enchanting land of the blue sky. Join us to learn about Mongolia's geography, food, people and history. Mongolia is a landlocked country located in East and Central Asia. It borders Russia to the north and China to the south. The geography of Mongolia consists of steppes, deserts and mountains. It can be divided into several physical geographical zones. The first is the Mongolian Manchurian grassland covering much of the eastern part of the country. This area consists of vast semi-arid grassy plains and is an important area for nomadic animal herding. The second zone is the Gobi Desert, which dominates the southern portion of Mongolia. The Gobi is the world's fifth largest desert and consists of stony, sandy and rocky plains. Next are the mountainous zones, including the Altai Mountains in the west and the Kangai Mountains in the north-central part of Mongolia. These high mountain ranges feature forested slopes and are punctuated by small glaciers. Finally, scattered throughout Mongolia, there are many lakes, with the largest being Lake Kufskul, situated in the northern mountains near the Russian border. Mongolia's rivers originate in the mountains and flow outward through the arid plains and deserts. The major rivers include the Selenga, Orkon and Tul. Mongolia consists of a variety of geographical zones and features, including grassy steppes, deserts, mountains, rivers and lakes. This diverse landscape helps support the pastoral nomadic lifestyle that is so central to Mongolian culture and history. As of 2022, the World Bank estimates that Mongolia has a population of over 3.4 million people, the predominant ethnic group is the Khalkha Mongols, who make up around 85% of the total population. After the Khalkha, the next largest ethnic group is the Kazakhs, who comprise around 4% of the population. The Kazakhs live mainly in the western region of Mongolia, near the Altai Mountains. There are also smaller ethnic minorities, including Chinese, Russians, Dukas and Tuvans within Mongolia. The official language of Mongolia is Kalka Mongolian, which uses the traditional Mongolian script. This is spoken by around 90% of inhabitants as their first language. Second to Mongolian is Kazakh, which is spoken by the Kazakh minority community. Smaller numbers speak Chinese, Russian and English as well. The main religion in Mongolia is Tibetan Buddhism, which is practiced by over half of the population. Buddhism first entered Mongolia in the 16th century and grew rapidly, eventually becoming dominant by the 19th century. Monasteries and temples can be found across the landscape and religious rituals and festivals play an important role in daily life. The second largest religion is shamanism, an indigenous faith involving worship of the sky, earth and ancestral spirits. Many Mongolians combine aspects of Buddhism and shamanism in their spiritual practice. A smaller number of Mongolians practice Islam, Christianity or other religions. Mongolian cuisine reflects the country's nomadic culture and harsh, cold climate. The diet consists of dairy, meat and animal products that can be kept and preserved. Mongolian food is hearty and filling, suited to the mobile lifestyle of nomads. A very popular Mongolian street food is the kushur, a deep-fried meat pie. Thin dough is filled with minced meat, usually mutton or beef, and deep-fried into a crispy golden pocket. Kushur makes an ideal quick snack during a busy day. Booze are steamed Mongolian dumplings filled with meat and sometimes onions or other vegetables. The dough is folded into a flower-like design. Booze are especially common during the Lunar New Year celebrations but are enjoyed year-round. 
Tsui Van features noodles stir-fried with meat and vegetables. Often the noodles are made fresh by hand and the dish includes cabbage, carrots, beef or mutton. This hearty meal can be eaten at any time of day. Chana San Mak involves boiling meat, usually sheep or goat, with salt and nothing else. The long boiling makes the meat incredibly tender and flavorful. Situated in the heart of the steppes of Central Asia, various nomadic tribes and empires have controlled the lands of Mongolia for centuries. From the Hunu Empire to the Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan, to rule under China and Russia, Mongolia has seen tumultuous changes. Some of the earliest recorded tribes in the area were the Xiongnu who battled with the Chinese dynasties. In the 13th century, Temujin united Mongol tribes and took the name Genghis Khan, founding the Mongol Empire. This enormous empire spanned from China to Eastern Europe at its peak. The Mongol Empire introduced the Silk Road to Europe before fragmenting into several smaller Khanates. After the fall of the Yuan dynasty in 1368, the Mongol Khanates battled amongst each other. This division allowed them to be conquered by the Manchus in the 17th century. Mongolia was incorporated into the Qing dynasty and ruled by the Manchus for over 200 years. Mongol princes were appointed as leaders under the Qing system of governance. In 1911, Mongolia declared independence from the Qing dynasty during the Qinghai Revolution. However, true autonomy wasn't achieved until the 1921 People's Revolution led to the formation of the People's Republic of Mongolia in 1924. As a Soviet satellite state, Mongolia experienced rapid industrialization and the collectivization of its nomadic herders. The 1990 Democratic Revolution in Mongolia led to free elections and a new constitution, transitioning Mongolia to a parliamentary republic. This began the modern era with multiple political parties, a free press and open market policies ending harsh Soviet-style rule. Mongolia has continued to develop economically and democratically since embracing reforms in the 1990s. From ancient tribal confederacies to the empire of Genghis Khan, from centuries of Manchu and Chinese rule to Soviet satellite state status, Mongolia has undergone an epic historical journey. Today, it stands as a young democracy rooted in its storied past, as a crossroads of nomadic cultures on the Central Asian steppe. Mongolia has a developing free market economy that has undergone rapid transformation since 1990. Prior to that, it operated under a Soviet-style communist system for much of the 20th century. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly $17 billion, according to World Bank data. Mongolia's economy revolves around mining, agriculture and tourism. Mining makes up 20% of GDP and 89% of exports, dominated by copper and coal. Herding and agriculture employ a third of Mongolians. Key agricultural products are sheep, goats, cattle, horses and cashmere wool. Tourism centers on Mongolia's natural beauty and cultural heritage. In 1924, Mongolia established a communist, centrally planned economy, assisted by the Soviet Union. Agriculture was collectivized and industry was nationalized. By the 1980s, inefficiencies led to economic stagnation. In 1990, Mongolia peacefully transitioned to a market economy and privatization. Mining has propelled rapid GDP growth, averaging 9% since then. Mongolia faces challenges in over-dependence on mining, reduced global commodity demand, and fluctuations in growth. One third of the population still lives in poverty. Mongolia has a thriving sports culture that is deeply connected to their nomadic traditions. The cold winters and mountainous terrain also lend themselves well to certain sports. Wrestling is considered Mongolia's national sport. It originated centuries ago amongst nomadic herders 
and is deeply tied to cultural identity. Wrestling competitions are held across the country and top wrestlers are celebrated. Horse riding and archery have been basics of nomadic life for generations in Mongolia as well. Racing on horseback across the steppes is a common pastime and archery is central to traditional festivals and competitions. More modern sports like soccer, basketball, boxing and martial arts have grown in popularity, especially in urban centers. Mongolia has a national basketball league and men's and women's football teams. Winter sports are also widely enjoyed given Mongolia's cold climate. These include skiing, speed skating, biathlon and bandy or Mongolian hockey. Mongolia competes internationally in many winter sports. The annual Nadam festival features Mongolia's three manly sports, wrestling, archery and horse racing. This week-long event celebrates community, competition and cultural heritage. Nadam draws huge crowds as top athletes compete to be named champion. From age-old nomadic games to imported international sports, physical competition is valued in Mongolian culture. Sports create national pride, embody nomadic traditions and bring communities together. Whether on horseback, arching across the steppes or competing for medals in the Olympics, sports hold an esteemed place in Mongolian society today. If you enjoyed this video on Mongolia, you'll love this next one.